श्रुति स्मृति पुराणा आलय करुणाल नमा भगवत्द शंकर लोकशंक शंकर शंकराचार्य केशव बादरायण सूत्र भाष्य वंदे भगवतपुन ईश्वरो गुरुरात्मे मूर्ति भेद विभागिने व्योमवत्तदेहाय दक्षिणामूर्त नम सदा शिव सरंभा शंकराचार्य मध्यम अस्मदाचार्यपर्यता वंदे गुरुपरंपरा ओ सह नवत सह नौ भुनक्त सह वीरवाह तेजस्वी नवधीतमस्तु मिषा वह ओ शाति 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 so we are in the second class of this course where we are we have done a sankalpa to study kathopanishad through the bhashyam of sri adi shankaracharya ji so we got introduced last class i gave an introduction to to the human pursuits purusharthas very basic because my assumption is all of you already know it but just to be sure we wanted to see how or why we are studying katopanish that that must be clear right in the up front so we saw four purusharthas dharma artha kama and moksha these are the four ends that are sought by any human being in this world not just indians it applies to everybody and uh, then we saw we brought the vedas into the picture vedas are meant for us and therefore uh, we said vedas based on the purusharthas vedas can be cat- categorized into two sections and the first section is called karma kandaha the kanda the section of karma means section of rituals section of where with shraddha if one does those rituals then the rituals will produce the results promised by the veda that is the meaning whatever the result is the result can be achieved in this world or another world that also only vedas has to say that there is another world if vedas were not there we wouldn't know all these other lokas that are there we wouldn't know veda is a pramanam for that suppose somebody asks you how do you know there is indra loka if somebody says no science cannot prove all this because it's beyond our perception science can only prove things that are perceivable measurable you know do the measurements repeated measurements all that and then we can come up with a conclusion but indra loka is not available for measurement therefore we will say that शास्त्रम से वेद ने कहा है बोला है लिखा है कि इंद्रलोक है ब्रह्मलोक है कैलाश है वैकुंठ है देर फोर वी बिलीव बिकॉज वी आर ऑल वी टेक द वेदा एस प्रमाणम वी आर ऑल आस्थिकस वैदिकस आस्थिकस एंड देर फोर वी एक्सेप्ट दैट एस ट्रू दैट इज दी अवर आंसर वी डोट हैव टू there's no pressure for us to prove that indra loka exists and all hey, it exists shastra says it you want to believe it you believe it and if you don't believe it also i am not upset by that that's it over end of story so we saw that we saw that that karma kanda 
what 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 can it give me it can give me dharma artha and kama among the four purushartas okay and uh, can it give moksha can some rituals give me moksha this is the analysis this is where we have to be carefully we have to look into it okay and uh, hey why not going to heaven whenever you have something called going somewhere reaching a place waiting something waiting it out you sow a seed and then you pour some water and after some time the seed sprouts and then it grows into a plant and then it grows into a tree all these things are results that are within time and space so heaven also being within time and space because it's not here it is there if you say somewhere there that, that, that also there i can't even point to heaven and uh, you ask anybody where is heaven they will just look up like this where is god upar wala in fact hindi mein bolte hai na upar wala upar wala are upar matlab kahan hai upar upar na upar matlab you should ask all those questions upar wala and upar wala is god that's all let's accept it and let's move on don't ask all these questions upar niche kon hai niche to patal lok hai so like that we can we have all these ideas so that here the idea is anything that we accomplish in this world our, our the world that we know is this world on earth this life is all we know and what are the things we um, accomplish here you can make a list of the things you have accomplished in your life okay and uh, it can be i got a degree i have a masters degree accomplishment i am a i am a married person accomplishment why it's an accomplishment because there are many people who want to get married but are not getting married therefore getting married is an accomplishment you may think it is not an accomplishment okay it all worked out very well but there are many people waiting in line for many years okay so therefore getting married is an accomplishment having children accomplishment liquid put it in your resume every day you should see i am blessed that i am married i am blessed that i have children all this we should write down don't take anything for granted all these are accomplishments what about uh, i have a house i have some things i own i have i have, I have a job everything is an accomplishment how much you work for all these things only you know what about other small accomplishments i am hungry right now i want food an accomplishment short accomplishment it will be done within 3 2 3 hours it will be done either i have to cook or somebody has to cook and then i have to have a food and then my hunger will be satisfied i want some chai because it's you know it's it's in the morning right now in india anyway 6:30 in the morning and i feel like having chai okay just so small, small i have to accomplish it chai this will not come grow in the tree also even the even if it grows somewhere you have to go and get it and they don't just come and just drop it on your in your mouth you know so all these are small accomplishments big accomplishments accomplishments which take a lot of time many years of waiting is are needed correct whatever be the accomplishment what are these these accomplishments are needed because because i want something and that something doesn't is not there yet i want chai chai is not there yet i want to get married marriage is not there yet wife husband not there yet i want children children not there yet 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 i want a degree degree not there yet i want a better job better job not there yet this not there yet becomes accomplished after some time effort everything we do in our life is in this category of what accomplishment of the not yet accomplished is that a correct statement are you all able to follow accomplishment of the not yet accomplished can be very small thing also i want to water my plants go there water over within one minute it's over small accomplishment i want my trees to fruit it's a guava fruit but wait it out you wait it out and you have to protect the trees and from pests and this and that and then a uh, you know, lot of things happen okay so uh, all these are accomplishments 
accomplishment or the not yet accomplished so this karma kanda helps me accomplish what i have not yet accomplished there is another type of accomplishment okay it comes it is called what it is the accomplishment of the already accomplished is there such a thing such a thing is possible accomplishment of the already accomplished it's ridiculous if you think about it suppose suppose you all went to a restaurant and uh, all friends everything all many people were there then people are there we all had dinner and uh, we had one hour time so we said are bah jayenge and then so you all went out and nice dinner good restaurant new restaurant somebody said acha hai kya yeah it's good so then everybody enjoyed it so nice everything ordered everything full meal everybody is full so you, you come out and you are now ready to go home and somebody says are baap re i am so famished how about having some dinner i am so hungry let's have dinner and then everybody is going to look kya ho gaya isko kya ho kuch ho gaya isko why kuch ho gaya because yesterday what happened some conversation was there and he he is a he is a he is a graduate bcom graduate okay and then he works in a bank and then in, in fact his visiting card his business card says so and so vikram chopra bcom ca okay it says that and then yesterday in a conversation he had said are humko college jana hai kyon college jana hai kuch phd kuch karna hai you want to do phd advanced studies in economics commerce no i want to get a degree i don't have a degree at all i want to get a bcom degree this conversation doesn't exist such a thing number nobody says so yesterday he said this today he is saying i am famished i want to have dinner after all after a five course dinner okay then what all what what we all do we all look at each other and you have to find now this degree and all you have to find a doctor with an advanced degree in psychiatry correct because this guy needs very serious help okay very serious help i can't help you can't help we have to take him somewhere else that becomes a problem so such a person you know unless it's a disease okay disease can be there but in a normal life that doesn't exist why because what is already accomplished nobody wants to accomplish again the thought of getting it doesn't arise i want a car i purchased a car i yesterday only i purchased a car today i won't say i want to purchase a car that i don't have not possible it doesn't arise at all therefore but then still there is some accomplishment of the already accomplished how is it possible if you ask and many of my students have heard this example it's a popular example so there is there is a, it's not a, new to some of you so this man kuchu in, in in our school days we used to, uh, we studied uh, read the story of this kuchu our teacher told us and kuchu gets up in the morning and then you know morning in india and all uh, those days at least these days nobody reads newspapers waiting to read newspaper these days they read uh, what is it whatsapp message he still whatsapp without getting up a whatsapp message you have to check correct how many of you check whatsapp messages as soon as you get up i, I think many of you are lying Everywhere. i think many of you are lying okay and sorry to say this and sorry to say many of you are lying i don't use the word lying and all that. i don't make judgments like this but today at this time i have to say i feel like many of you are lying i let me be safe i feel like many of you are lying okay okay so whatsapp message so this guy has to check whatsapp messages and then he checks checks because now the whatsapp is full it will take him at least 1 hour to read the whatsapp messages 1 hour because one video is 3 minutes 10 videos 3 into 10 30 minutes 30 is a long time so he is is car is watching 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 then there's a bell okay india may all these bells will constantly be ringing then the dood wala aa gaya so so then what happens he went outside and then got the milk and put it in the kitchen and then he comes back now he can't read because he left the glasses somewhere 
Because without glasses, this fellow can't read. He is 64, 70, so he can't read all this. He is looking for his glasses. And uh, Bahar, so he came, so he went outside, saw the thing, not there near the door. Then, uh, oh, kitchen. Okay, I went to the kitchen, not there. And then he screams at everybody. Where is where are my glasses? Where is my glasses? over the power cut so it's uh, UPS is needed for this thing anyway no problem so I, I'm audible now correct okay so Mera Chashma hai? so he just uh, wakes up everybody and says come on where is where is that there's this major chaos at home and uh, because whatsapp addict you know and WhatsApp addict, so that is a problem. And then makes him go round and round. And then he's not there on the go. Look at the table. You have you seen the table? Yeah, I saw that it's not there. It's not there on the table. What about did you go to the refrigerator? Yeah, refrigerator on top of that. Yeah, it's not there. What about your your uh, where were you sitting? I was sitting on the couch. What about next to the couch? Not there. Okay, not there. Then, then the children come and they're all, they want help father, you know. And then, uh, then the children, you know, this, they saw, the, see, they saw, suddenly they saw what happened. Oh, daddy, daddy phas gay aaj. Aaj phasayenge inko. Let us have a little fun in the morning. This man wakes me up when I'm sleeping. Huh? I, what, I'm going to have fun. Okay, this is our family. Everybody looks at each other like this. Ma Mataji, everybody, they all look at each other. And then they say, ah. I saw, they say, okay, they, they decided we are going to have fun. So, daddy, kya ho gaya? what is all this? And then, uh, so, dekha, dekha, nahi hai. table, did you keep it in the table? No. What about your office? You know, your office there. I didn't go there to the office. Yeah, you didn't go there. That's what you're thinking. You should go and check it out. And then he goes, checks out. Nothing, not available. Then this game they play like this for a while. Then they say, Daddy, I know where it is. You should go to the bathroom, you know, restroom. See there. No, I didn't go there. Oh, but you should, you know, now that you have checked everywhere, what do you lose by going to the going to the bathroom? You are not going to lose anything. At worst case, it won't be there. So go and check. So and he goes into the bathroom. And after that. One minute, two minutes, no sound. He was shouting, screaming at everybody. And suddenly, sound stopped. All noises stopped. Daddy, are you there or not? Slowly comes out. Slowly comes out. Because he also realized, he also realized the problem. And the family members also are laughing. And so, yeah, oh yeah. What happened? Enough. Come on, go back. Go, go. You have a school or not? You have to study, right? Go, go. What happened? Tell me now. What happened? What happened now? This man wants to possess his glasses. That is an accomplishment. That is that will be called accomplishment. I want to accomplish the possession of my glasses. Now, then, but this man already has the glasses and he wants to possess. So he becomes possessed, like a possessed man, you know. You know, they say possessed man means what? He's just, he's anxious going after everybody. And uh, so this possessed guy goes after everybody, shouts at everybody, runs up and down. Tell you something. How much effort is needed for this man to possess his glasses? Can you do Pradakshina, you know, come on, pray, pray to Bhagawan and then to help him find you the glasses and then Bhagawan, that, will that prayer help? Yeah, prayer may help. Prayer will always help. We believe prayer will always help. Okay, maybe that's a wrong question. Or maybe you go around the house three times and come. Then you'll get your glasses. Call the police. 
या तो कुछ ना कुछ करना है नथिंग विल हेल्प गेट हिम द ग्लासेस डू नो व्हाई बिकॉज द ग्लासेस आर नॉट देयर एनीवेयर द ग्लासेस आर देयर यू कैन सी एंड पिक इट अप ग्लासेस आर नॉट देयर दिस फेलो इज नॉट लुकिंग एट द प्लेस वेयर द ग्लासेस आर एक्चुअली अवेलेबल दैट्स द प्रॉब्लम therefore this search will never end it's a never ending search finding this guy's classes will be a never ending search so what is the solution for this the solution for this is there must be somebody like his son or daughter who knows the problem and who knows the solution also to the problem okay both have to be known okay problem is known and solution also is to be known and then should be able to say ओके क्या हो गया हम हमें ग्लासेस नहीं है मेरे पास मेरा ग्लासेस गया आई कैन वॉच सी माय ऑल व्हाट्सएप दिस दैट टेंशन टेंशन कुछ टेंशन रियली स्पीकिंग नो टेंशन इफ यू डोंट सी व्हाट्सएप मैसेजेस फॉर अ फ्यू आवर्स नथिंग विल हैपन बट यहां इसको टेंशन है सो देयरफॉर दिस गाय हैज टू से व्हाट अच्छा रिलैक्स फर्स्ट रिलैक्स व्हाट डू यू मीन रिलैक्स आर यू गोइंग टू गेट मी माय ग्लासेस और नॉट Yes, I know you get it. Really, you know it? Yes, I know it. And then take him. Gradually, come, come, come along with me. Take him, and then say, look, say, look. Stand in front of the mirror. Where you want me to look? Where around the restroom? You want me to? What? Why did you bring me here? Don't worry. Just, just, just look there. Look there means what? The guru. should be there must be compassionate must understand the sh- problem of the shishya and then calm the shishya down and then take the shishya to to a shastram called vedas which is something but a mirror of words mirror of words make a note of that and that mirror of words is going to show me my true nature my true nature it's going to show like the mirror there showed him the glasses that he had this is this is the journey this is the journey we are all taking accomplishment of the already accomplished advaita vedanta over this is advaita vedanta summary aham brahmasmi and all will come later जीवान ईश्वरा ऐडेंटिकल जीवेश्वर ऐक्यम सर्व खलवीद ब्रह्म महावाक्यम कम बेस्ड ऑन दिस दिस अंडरस्टैंडिंग सो वी यूज टू एंड वी स्टडीड सॉ दिस स्टोरी एंड ऑल वी इवन डिड ड्रामा एंड ऑल इन स्कूल एंड वी एंजॉय द स्टोरी ओके बट वी डिट कनेक्टेड टू वेदांत एंड ऑल दोज डेज बट नाउ दिस इज अ प्रॉब्लम दिस इज वाई दिस यू आर what you are seeking you already are what you are seeking means what you already are what you are seeking that means what is it that is separating me from what i am seeking what is it that is separating this man from what he was seeking the glasses what is what was the separation between these two the separation is ignorance ignorance is that which is separating this man from what the man wants to be the man wants to be the possessor of glasses and the man thinks he doesn't possess the glasses of course he doesn't possess the glasses therefore i have to look for my glasses look at that ignorance of a fact also makes me do things do things do things and in this case this doing is going to be eternal they say punar jarm why punar jarm because the search is eternal the as as long as i don't know who i am my search is going to be eternal if the truth is that what i am seeking is myself if the truth is like that then i am looking for happiness everywhere and experience also seems to tell me that yeah if i get this i'll be happy if i get that i'll be happy even ice cream makes me happy and this is everything the whole world makes me happy my idea of happiness is i must get it from the world this is my idea nobody tells me you are already happy your swarupa your your nature is happiness 
Shastram has to come and tell us. A. Dharma Artha Kama. Over. You've been doing it all along. Have you ever thought through this? The minute the Shastram says that, then what? Dhiraha. Right? We saw that. Kastid Dhiraha last class. Some person who says, wait a minute. I've been running around. But that running around is not really going to yield, yield anything, yield fruit. Yes, this running around will keep on continuing until I ask the question, who am I? Until I find out what is, what am I seeking? I must ask the question, what is it I am seeking? And how will I get what I am seeking? These questions I have to ask. Okay, remember the seven questions we asked in the last class. Okay, okay. so now I'll keep these glasses down. The purpose of the glasses is served. Okay. And uh, so, therefore, therefore, we are entering a subject matter called Vedanta. Vedanam Antaha, the end of the Veda. Means Upanishads are located towards the end of the Samhita or Brahmana portion, Aranyaka. And so, location wise, also, it is towards the end. Not all the time, but mostly, therefore called Vedanta, the end portion of the Veda. And some people also say, it is that which is the last thing that one will study. After you study this, there is no more seeking. That is the idea. So therefore, this becomes the crux, the thesis of Advaita Vedanta. And Advaita, I mean, there are more things to study, of course, the whole world. The truth of the entire world is Satyam, is Brahma, and the truth of me is Atma, and that Atma and Brahma are identical. They cannot be different. That is the initial conviction. Then we come to the recognition that they are non different, they are identical. Identical means absolutely identical. There can't be two truths. If there are two truths, they will be opposing each other. Each will make the other finite. Two things are there means one makes the other finite. Other makes this finite. Over. So this is how we approach our Upanishad here. And so here we are. We are going to study this Kato Upanishad. This, this book is actually a pretty small book. It's even smaller than the Bhagavad Gita. Kato Upanishad has only about 120 or so mantras. 120 mantras. Bhagavad Gita has 700 plus shlokas. Long text. Bhagavad Gita is very long. We've been studying for almost about two and a half years now. We are in the eighth chapter now. Okay. And so, but this one is much shorter. 120. But still, only one hour a week means it will take us a while to finish. Okay. This Upanishad is in the Yajur Veda. Yajurveda. Veda Vyasa is there. He divided the Veda into four. And then of that Yajurveda, he broke that also into two, sort of into two, called Krishna Yajurveda and Shukla Yajurveda. And Shukla Yajurveda, he gave it to Yajnavalkya Maharshi and said, you take care of it. And then Vaishampayana Maharshi, he called and he said, come on, this Krishna Yajur Veda belongs to you. You are responsible for it. You teach it to others. And then Vaishampayana had a student called Katha. Katha Maharshi. And that Upanishad is named after that Katha Maharshi. Okay? That Katha Maharshi must be the Drashta. You know, remember we said Mantra Drashta Raha. So must be the Drashta of this Katha Upanishad. That is a way to understand this. Okay. Some of you may be thinking, oh, Kata Upanishad has a beautiful Katha. Beautiful Katha, because it's going to come. Nice dialogue between Yama and Nachiketa. Therefore, it is called Katha Upanishad. No, that is not correct. Even I was thinking long ago like that. Nice, beautiful Katha, therefore Katha Upanishad. It is not correct because it is not Katha Upanishad. It is Katha Upanishad. I hope you can see the difference. It's not Katha Upanishad. If it were Kathopanishad, then we can give that reason. But that's not the way it is. 
and therefore kathopanishad or kathakopanishad sometimes you will hear that phrase kathaka kathaka upanishad that also is fine kathaka is that which is born of katha is katha maharshi before kathaka like that and uh, so like this these vedas different vedas have different upanishads okay rig veda aitreya upanishad is in rig veda and then yajur veda aitreya upanishad bhradaranya upanishad and then this katha upanishad and then you come to sama veda chandogya upanishad kena upanishad like this there are different upanishads in the different vedas but then the subject matter of these upanishads if you ask are they same or different the answer has to be this the same subject different approaches that's the only difference between these upanishads different approaches different emphasis karya karana prakriya panchakosha prakriya like this, there are different methodologies they learn slowly all those things but that is therefore regardless of the upanishad you study you are going to study the same subject and what is that subject that subject is understanding jeeveshwara aikyam jeeveshwara aikyam mahavakyam it's called a mahavakyam why it's called mahavakyam mahavakyam vakyam is a statement maha means grand grand statement the jiva the individual is equal to ishvara bhagavan this is can be the most ridiculous statement trying to equate a jiva who is a product of ishvara who is a bhakta of ishvara and you are telling this bhakta is equal to ishvara how is it possible yeah that possibility is what is being stated by the shastram and we are going to study that okay and uh, therefore in this upanishad we have a setting it begins with a setting where yama is going to start teaching nachiketa setting is a story where father and son is going to there we are going, uh, our father is doing a yajna and uh, then the, the son is going to ask father some questions father gets upset and then and then the next scene shifts and the son goes to goes to yamalok yamalok and then he gets a, he, he then meets yamadar maharaja and then there is a dialogue between this young boy and uh, sir for very inspiring story for children also adults also because we can learn as adults we can learn a lot from this punishment just from the story itself without getting into vedanta just how to lead a life from this boy just just shakes us just bit moves us how can a boy be like this like a young boy okay and uh, so there is a book called dialogue with death how many of you heard of the book called dialogue with death okay oh. okay gurish ji is a couple of people are raising their hands okay dialogue with death written by eknath ishwar okay eknath ishwar he he wrote this book in 1981 i think if i remember right it was published as dialogue with death journey into consciousness that is what is the title of the book but uh, the later on i found that uh, the book has been renamed into something called essence of the upanishads a guide to indian spirituality something like that the books he has changed the name of the book i don't know why i don't know why he did that but there is another book called dialogue with death by an author called arthur kosler arthur kessler i'm sorry arthur kessler spelled as k o e s t l e r arthur kessler and called dialogue with death but there this topic is different he is talking about spanish civil war and then he is talking about life in prison when he was given a death sentence all that he is talking about so no connection between this dialogue with death and that dialogue with death but i am just telling you these things if you google you will find all these things so that the, the eknath ishwaran's dialogue with death is a commentary translation of katopish okay and so it is a very captivating title dialogue with death right some people will buy that book this is dialogue with death and uh, therefore with that introduction uh, we have still some time left so let's uh, start the upanishad 
every upanishads begins with a what is called shanti mantra shanti mantra so we are going to chant this now and uh, all of you can repeat after me and uh, okay first of all this book all of you have either the book or a pdf file correct yes can i assume that yeah so you have you have the text with you and uh, so i'm oh, just looking my, at the my book first has not page yet come. of the uh, it will come in a day or two i don't have uh, either today but you have a pdf file though we have sent a pdf file in the in the whatsapp group yeah that that i can use yes. correct yes yeah you can use that you're welcome to use that so so first page you know, this reflection is there from the light i don't know how to show this uh, this is how it looks kato upanishad says i'm looking at this um, book from gita press okay okay so let's chant this repeat after me so i'm looking at the first sajeev nair go ahead and unmute yourself so just repeat after me om sahana vavatu om sahana vavatu sahana bhunaktu sahana bhunaktu sahaviryam sahaviryam karavavahai karavavahai tejasvi tejasvi navadhitamastu navadhitamastu ma vidvishavahai ma vidvishavahai om shanti 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 Om Shanti 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 Yeah, so if you don't know this mantra, you know, in time we'll be chanting it every class. So you can, you're welcome to memorize it. It's, a, it's an important mantra. Mantra means that which is taken from a Veda. From the Veda is called a mantra. Otherwise, it will be called a shloka. 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 shloka or something else other words are being are, can be used but mantra means taken from the veda so from the yajur veda this mantra is taken om sahana vavatu etc so we are going to look at the meaning of this mantra so from now onwards whatever we pick everything we read from the kato upanishad i will be explaining to you the meaning and you are welcome to take notes and uh, when i studied these things i took notes because my memory is not that good that uh, everything that got taught you know got stored in my head forever you know like a hard disk so that's not the memory i have and i need to write down and when i write something then the thing this it takes a while for it for that to go into my head and so i that's my habit so whatever your habit is you can follow and uh, i also have a uh, a text a note that was given to us you know in the ashram and we were studying and there what happens it's it's a, it's in a book form in you know, a4 size and there all these mantras are triple spaced written in and the shankara's bhashyam is written in triple spaced or more so that we can actually write the notes under the under the shloka under the bhashyam okay will that help uh, you and you can use that you can print a few pages of that and use it to write your notes okay i will do that i'll send you that uh, i think I've, okay we will send you that okay so next class i'm going to give you that okay om sahana vavat the word om om is not a word actually it's a sound symbol we used a symbol like this and then we write om and all that we, we have a particular way of writing om but that is not the shastrik way of writing shastram doesn't say you should write om like this somebody invented it and we've been using it i think wrong we'll continue to use it but it's not a it is not a written symbol om is a sound symbol sound only om three matras om three matras om om is name for god name for bhagavan 
name for Parameshwara, Ishwara. Om. So, whenever we start a class, whenever we start chanting a mantra, whenever we start something, we start with Omkaraha. Omkar se shuru karenge ha. So, that Om is there here. Om Sahana Vavatu. Saha Nau Avatu. So, I, this is called Sandhi. So, I'm not going to spend too much time because all of you are supposed to know some Sanskrit. Okay. Is there anybody here who knows, who does not, has not heard the word called Sandhi? Just raise your hand so that I, at least I can know. Okay, there is two screens here. Okay. So, okay. Is there anybody who has not studied Sanskrit? Okay. Hari ji is there. Who else? Girish ji has not studied. Okay. Girish ji has not studied. And Satya ji is there. Not studied. Ashok but, Kaur. But you all have... Ashok Kaur also raised. Okay. So, there are about five people, let's say, who have raised your hands. So, you see how it goes. I'm going to take certain concepts for granted. Okay. So, when I say Sandhi, everybody in class understands what Sandhi is. And uh, if you don't understand, it's all right. You don't lose much because I'm going to be explaining everything. Uh, but what will happen is within a few classes, you will begin to understand the concept also. That's what will happen. You'll start learning the Sanskrit, picking up all those concepts. Okay. So you see how it goes. You see how it goes. I'm not going to, this is not going to be a Sanskrit class anyway. So you don't have to worry that I have not studied Sanskrit, etc. But understand that some Sanskrit background is, I'm going to take for granted and while I explain. So I'll use some words and I will not say Sandhi, I will say and move on. You will be wondering what is this Sandhi. Some of you, five of you may wonder what Sandhi is. But you will have to infer based on what I say. You will infer. Okay. And you won't lose Vedanta, there is no loss. But in, when I speak, you have to start making some connections there. Okay. So it's good. Uh, it's good that the majority of you can follow some of these basic Sanskrit words. Vibhakti, when I say, I will say Pratama Vibhakti Vivachana. That's it. And then I move on. And then I, I won't be explaining what Vibhakti is and what is Vachanam and what is Pullingam, Stealingam, Napumsakalingam and all. I won't say all those. So I know that that's what I'm. That's the only background I expect you to have. And if you don't understand those portions, you would you lose nothing also. Because the content I'm going to explain it. So you see how it goes. Okay, and give me some feedback. Okay. Saha now abatu abatu lot ekavachanam abatu rakshatu protect may he protect abatu. And may he protect whom? Now. Now is the short form for Avam. Avam means both of us. May he protect both of us, Saha, together. May he protect both of us together. Both of us means what? Both the teacher and the student. They are chanting this shloka together. That is the meaning. Therefore, now comes both. This is this mantra is specifically meant to be chanted in a class. Many people. Uh, uh, chant before this bhojan and all that. In the northern part of India, they do this often. And sahana bhavatu, sahana bhunaktu, and all they say. Nothing wrong. Shaddha is there. But typically, this is chanted in a classroom setting. And so, both the teacher and student are saying, may he, he is not mentioned here. You have to put in brackets, parameshwaraha, Shankaracharya says, parameshwaraha. Within brackets, may Parameshwara protect both of us. Very simple. Okay, once you break it apart, it becomes very simple. Then what? Saha now Bhunaktu. Okay. Is Bhunaktu popularly translated as may he nourish both of us? Nourish. Okay, that is one of the meanings of this Bhunj Dhatu. But Bhunj Dhatu has another meaning, which is Avatu, protect also. It also has protection. So Shastra is saying protect two times. One is avatu protection. Bhunaktu also means protection. And that means Shankaracharya also is here. He says avatu may he protect us by giving us the knowledge. This is not some, some national security protection or some 
you know, give me protection from the people in my society. Not that kind of protection. The final protection is going to come only from the removal of this Ajnanam, Ajnana Nivritti Dwara Eva. Therefore, let that Ajnana Nivritti happen. That is the first Avatu. What about Bhunaktu? Also protect me. May he protect both of us. How? By giving us the benefit of that Ajnana Nivritti. Us Jnan ka phal dekar hamko protect karo, hamko raksha karo. By giving me the fruits of the fruits of that Jnana. Okay, I hope I hope you're all following me. Correct. I'm not moving too fast. Correct. If I'm moving too fast, just unmute yourself and say stop. Just can you explain to me this word once again? You can. You're welcome to say that. Okay. Okay. And then saha viryam karava vahai. Saha viryam karava vahai. The Saha, just for Sanskrit students, Saha, ha, some people, one, one commentator splits the Saha into Saha and Ha. That Saha is He and He refers to Ishvara and Ha, indeed, may He indeed protect us like that one commentator translates. But Chakracharya doesn't say that. He just leaves Saha as an indeclinable avyayam, Saha together. It's an indeclinable, one word Saha. Like Lakshmanayana Saha, Ramam Vanam Gachati. Rama went to the forest along with. This is not along with Saha, but it is together Saha. Together. It's an indeclinable. Okay. That's Saha. Only Shankaracharya takes it. That's how I'm going to take it also. Okay. So, Saha Viryam Karava Vahai. So, let that, when, when this Jnana, when this knowledge happens, when this man found that, oh my God, I really did not lose my glasses. Like a fool, I've been searching all over. And I made a fool of myself. Fortunately, in this case, everybody is making a fool of themselves. And then everybody says they're all intelligent people also. They're very smart human beings. But everybody is making a fool of themselves. But here, yeah, once the knowledge comes, viryam karavavahe, let us assimilate it, let us live. Let my life reflect the knowledge that I have. Because I am always a fearful, anxious person. Tomorrow, what's going to happen? I don't know my body, my health every day. Some joint is just creaking and aching. And this is my mindset. How is this mindset going to change? Let my mindset change. Sahaviryam karava vahai. So we will see all that. Okay. This is just an introduction. Okay. Tejasvi Navadhi Tamastu. Adhitam means study. May this study that we are engaging in, may this study that we have just started and that we will complete after some time. May this study be so now Adhitam, our study, the study of both of us, you know, both of us, teacher and student, let it be Tejasvi. Let it be brilliant. Let it be so good that after every class I can say, yes, this class was good and uh, I understood. May not have understood every part of it, but I understood. I, 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 I think I'm, I'm moving forward and I look forward to attending next class. Tejasvi Navadhi Tamast. Okay. Let the study be brilliant. Let the study not lack anything. Okay, look at further. We are going to see some more thing. Look at that. He said, and then he says, Ma Vidvisha Vahai. Very important statement. Ma means never. Ma means never. Maybe not. Maybe both not. Maybe, maybe you both not do what? Vidvisha Vahai. Dvesha. Dvesha means there is a dislike, there is a hatred, there is some, some mismatch in chemistry between whom? A, between the teacher and the student. The teacher may be qualified. The student is also qualified to study this subject. Qualifications are there, but then there is still, that is not enough. And Veda says that is not enough. The chemistry has to be proper between the teacher and the student. Okay, the relationship must be good. The teacher must have shraddha on the, uh, the, the student must have shraddha on the teacher. Yes, I, I respect the teacher, 
and I will allow the teacher to speak and unfold and uh, I am going to allow myself to listen to the words and I want the words to soak into my head. I will not judge the teacher. At least don't judge the teacher too soon. Later on, maybe you can judge and say, you know, this class has been a waste of my time. I think uh, two weeks, two months wasted. I would have at least so many other online courses are going on. I could have I, two, two months gone. Okay, fine. At least two months gone. I'm going to stop this with that. My loss, I'm going to stop my loss with this. You can say that. But you have to give the benefit of doubt. For you to say that, you must give a reason. You must convince yourself. And so, so give that benefit of doubt to the teacher. What about the teacher? This advice is for the teacher also. The teacher also should not judge the students. We can't say, oh, you don't know Sanskrit. What is this? Why did you register for this class? Didn't I tell you in the registration form? You must know all these things, A, B, C, D. And you're saying, you know, if I start giving a lecture like this, what will happen? Not only the students are upset. The other students who know Sanskrit also are upset. Why is he talking like this? So good words must be spoken. Honest also. Honesty is there. The teacher has to say what is to be said. Keep on. Doesn't, should not keep on hiding things and, and that won't work. Therefore, the teacher must be compassionate. Compassion is a requirement of every teacher. As Shastram teacher especially. If all the courses we have taken in college and school, the compassion is not a requirement. It should be a requirement. Really speaking, school teachers are compassionate. I have seen good teachers are very compassionate. Compassion is so important because the chemistry will not, the chemistry is needed between the student and the teacher. Then the student will grow because it's a growth process, maturing process. The flower is blossoming. And when the flower blossoms, you can't just force the flower. Come on. Blossom too far. You are, you are very slow. You can't say that to a flower. Every human mind is just, we're all growing. We all want to grow. The intentions are good. So the teacher must provide the environment so the flower blossoms. That's all. This is the job of the teacher. Teacher really doesn't create knowledge at all. Why teacher does not create knowledge? Because nothing can be created, period. You may think knowledge is created, but knowledge really is not created. We'll talk about it another time. Okay, It's a big topic. We will see all that during the course of this course. Okay, And so... Ma with Vishava, hi, may we not have ill feelings against each other. May we not entertain ill feelings. If there are any feelings, just let it out privately. We we'll talk it over with the teacher and the student. I will do the same thing. You will do the same thing. And let's clarify. And if there are irreconcilable differences, okay, let them be there. And then we will sort, we will find a way to deal with irreconcilable differences. But start with Shraddha, start with Bhakti, start with Daya. That is the meaning of this. It's so important. How important the Shastram, you know, how compassionate it is. Hey, don't be careful. Teacher also has to be careful. Student also must enjoy and uh, don't make quick judgments. Suppose the student thinks, oh, he is always partial to all these people. Just that thought, just imagine that thought. Suppose I have that, as a student, I have that thought. What will happen? You think uh, this thought will constant like a thorn, it will keep nagging you, correct? And as long as it is nagging you, you can't understand what's being said. Nothing should block. That is what the Shastra wants us to say. Om Shanti 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 Trirvachanam, like that Anandagiri says, and uh, Chakra also will say later. If you go to the last page of this book, Okay, if you don't go, that's fine. But I'll tell you, last page, last two pages, Shankaracharya is taking the time to comment on this shloka also. Om Sahana It is there. If you have time, look at it. So the commentary is there. So we will see the commentary at that time, and we come to the last page of the book. And uh, so there he says, uh, there he doesn't say much, but Anandigiri says, three shantis are meant for. Three types of types of obstacles, and the first type of obstacle is adhyatmika tapam. Adhyatmika tapam. What is adhyatmika tapam? 
all obstacles that are there within me itself what kind of obstacles can be there within me well i've been sitting here for one hour you also have to sit for one hour and you have to be able to sit for one hour many people can't sit that's an obstacle if you can't sit then that's a problem you have to relax you have to lean like this or you have to lie down some people can't sit they have to lie down so all these are physical barriers physical ailments are a barrier then no physical ailment then what about uh, no physical ailment then what mental mind mind can be a problem mind is running all over what is that now morning india 7:15 you do next or i have to do i could drop the children at school this that whatever whatever responsibilities you have you are going to think about those responsibilities shanti we start the class with shanti let them just relax let them be there the time will come don't worry things will work out shanti hi adhyatmika shanti one shanti is meant for neutralizing all those anxieties and all those physical problems if there is a physical problem still let me give, allow me to concentrate on the class even with this physical problem lower back pain that's it once i am able to concentrate then the lower back pain may come back later but during the class it will allow you to listen correct that's it that's all you want we are not asking for magic here asking for proper time contact time then second shanti what adi bhautika shanti body finished body mind is over that is adhyatmika tapaha then adi bhautika tapaha the obstacles in my environment in my surroundings surroundings these days in a class like this where we are all sitting in our homes adi bhautika tapa is there because there is always a people wandering around walking the bell is ringing phone is ringing you know there is somebody is watching tv this is constantly going on these are all adi bhautika tap so the prayer is may it be minimum may i be able to handle those if at all there is any noises like that may i be able to handle or i can go somebody is watching tv i say please can you turn it off i am doing a class if you can give me half an hour more after that you can watch tv or you can lower your volume a little bit can could you please do that i can say that so i have some control over that that some control i may have it's called adi bhautika tap then last shanti is for the obstacle called adi daivika tapam daivika problems that are created that you have no control over these are all rain floods storms cyclones all these things over which i have no control can also stop me from this pursuit therefore the third shanti is meant for helping us hey bhagavan please help us help us in this pursuit we are all here we have shraddha in this and we are coming here we are serious we are committed therefore <coughs> take us through this journey om shanti 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 ओम पूर्णम पूर्णमीदम पूर्णा पूर्णमुदच्यते पूर्णस्य पूर्णमादाय पूर्णमेवशिष्य ओम शाति 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 हरि ओम श्री गुरुभ्यो नम हरि ओम थैंक यू